Hey guys, so tonight's video I'm going to show the process of changing out the nozzle blocker on the Bamber Lab H2D and for the purposes of recording I'm going to remove both nozzles just so that we have better visibility. So just bear with me one second. Okay, so hopefully you can see that fairly clear. But in here at the back is the arm that operates the nozzle blocker and it's got a magnet that attaches two magnets on both sides here so when it moves across it locks positively in place so what you need to do is catch the lever and move it to the center so you can get access to it with the allen key and using the larger of the two allen keys that came with the packet of accessories you want to open the screw here in the center that's your blocker assembly. So this piece here, there's a spare one of these in the accessory packet, just the front piece, the spring steel piece. Right, so in order to change it out, you use the smaller of the two allen keys that came in the packet. And again, unscrew. And this little piece just comes off. Now if you notice, one of the screw holes, or one of the holes, sorry, in the flap is larger it's oval and you've got this main screw hole and these two smaller holes a circular hole and an oval hole they line up with an oval pin and a circular pin on the arm so you can't put it back on incorrectly so to reinstall simply the reverse get your small line key and your screw screw it back into place The, the magnet in this will hold this in place if you push it up to where it's supposed to be. And get your large allen key and the large screw. Line these into place and tighten the back up. And that's it. Simply go back to the settings on the printer to swap between the two nozzles. So go into settings and click on nozzle and extruder and you can choose nozzle left and nozzle right. So once I have that one out of the way, I'll reinstall my right nozzle. Push it up, close over the clasp and lock it in place. Refit the silicone sock and then do the same for the left, but obviously you have to move the flap. So back to settings, nozzle and extruder and choose the other nozzle. over and lock it with the clasp and reinstall the silicone sock and then just confirm operation by swapping between the nozzles to ensure that this little flap sits where it's supposed to be in the bamboo wiki it does say you can bend this if it's out of shape you can bend it back to sitting correctly on the nozzle I haven't had to do that yet so hopefully I don't do that Anyway, if that was useful, let me know in the comments. Um, any questions, again, drop them in the comments. I'll see, can I answer them? Okay, thanks.